Have you ever thought about this that why do we actually write journals? It is kind of a reflection on our emotions and our feelings so that we can gain some clarity on our thoughts, we have some insights or perspective towards our own mindset. And that is why we all try and write journals or at least we should try and write journals. Hey guys, what's up? This is me Hardik. We are iGeeks blog and today we are going to talk about journal app which iPhone has to offer to you. Now that the app has been launched with iOS 17 but it was rolled out with 17.2 and today we are going to talk everything about journal, how to use it, how can it be useful and etc etc. We'll get to it uh, but before that let's get started how the app actually looks like and what you get once you get into the app. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that your phone is at least running on iOS 17.2 and later. So now let's go to our app and as soon as you hit the app for the first time, this is the splash screen you'll be greeted with. It will basically tell you that what you can do with your journal. You can write about your day, you can add photos, places and more. You can also lock your journal. You can also schedule a time for writing it and to make it a habit. We'll go to continue. The first thing you can do here, you can always lock your journal. Over here, it will be asked that when the journal should ask for a passcode. So I'll put it immediately. I'll turn it on. And I'll allow my face ID as well. And now I'm inside my journal. Now over here, I'm using my other device where I've made journal entries and it is not a naked one. And over here, as you can see from here, you can add an entry. You can make a new entry. But before that, you'll also get some reflections. If you are not able to think what to write about, then these are the questions you can get started with. And if you are not liking what you see, then you can always refresh the questions. You can always get suggestions over here. And over here, Apple is clarifying that your journal only has access to your suggestions when you start. It is completely secure and nobody but yourself have this access. Even Apple cannot have a look at it. Also, you can select if you want to keep journaling suggestions on or off. If switched on, it will keep on giving you suggestions in case you are feeling blank someday and you want some suggestion that what you should insert in your journal. You can also customize your suggestion regarding activity, media, contact, photos, etc and then you can always turn it on. So as you can see, my device has been changed. On those devices, that was the first time when journal app was opened and this is the device where I actually have made some contributions and this is how it looks like at a glance. You can always go to this menu and select what kind of entries you want to see, only photos, entries with only videos, recorded audio, or you want to see all the entries. And if you want to make a new entry, you just need to click here. And these are the suggestions that are being made to you. If you do not like the question, you can always click this refresh button. And if you like something, you can always click on it. And this is how it will look like. You can start writing, but I am not a big fan of writing. So I'll always go to the voice memo and I'll allow my microphone and I'll start recording my own uh, journal about this particular question and my own reflections and insights about the same. If I want other reflections, I can always click on this icon. If I want to add some photograph, I can always go to this one. If I want to click a photograph right here, right now, I can always select this option. And if I want to use a voice memo, I can go to this one. And if I want to add a location near me in my journal or I want to search a location, I can do that as well for this particular question. Once I'm satisfied with my entry, I'll go to done. And this is how the entry looks like. The entry is where I've taken the suggestion. The suggestion will come on the top. The entry which I've made without a suggestion, it will be looking like this. And over here, I would again like to emphasize on the fact that all the suggestions, all your responses will stay in the phone and nobody, that means even Apple, would have access to them. In fact, you can go to compatible apps like photos or music, or podcast and you can always go to the share option and create a journal entry from there. So all in all, it is this simple to make an entry in your journal app. You can do it on a daily basis. You can do it on a weekly basis. In fact, you also have some settings for your journal app. Once in setting, we'll go to journal. Over there, you can give location permissions, photos permission, microphone, camera, face ID. Even you can go ahead and give some permissions to Siri as well. Then if you want, you can also skip journaling suggestions when you are creating an entry for the first time. You can lock your journal. You can also schedule your journal as I've told you earlier. You just have to go to this option. Over there, you need to turn the toggle on if it is off. And then you shall get a notification on your phone screen just to remind you that it's your time to make an entry on your journal. And lastly, you can also select the photos that you click through your camera app in journal if you want to save those photos automatically or not. You can only keep it limited to the journal app or you can also save it to your photos. 
Now this app can also be considered as an addition to your screen time. But according to me, is a wise investment that you make towards your mental health. But after everything said and done, I still feel there are few things that are needed to be changed in this app. And as I told you earlier, you can always select your favorite music, your podcast, or your location to make an entry in your journal. And when you click on that particular song, it will redirect you to the app where you can listen to that song. But sadly, that is not the case with the maps. It will be just sitting there, idle, doing nothing, good for nothing, and you cannot use it. You cannot do anything about it. You can just zoom in or zoom out and see where exactly it was located, but it won't redirect you anywhere. And another flaw which I feel is kind of a deal breaker for me. Now, I won't lie to you, journal app really motivated me to make daily entries, but then I figured out that once I'm into the app, there are regular entries that I've been making, but down the line, after some years, there'll be hundreds and thousands of entries that I'll be making, but there is no way to search them. If I want to go to a particular day, particular date, I cannot do that. I can just sort out my entries with photos, videos, or recorded audios, reflection, or places. That's it. Nothing apart from that. So if I want to go to a particular day, date, nothing can happen. Nada. Now, although it's kind of a deal breaker for me, but I really feel that this is something very small and can be sorted with a small update and Apple would certainly be doing so. But until that is sorted in the near future, do let me know in the comment section what do you think about this app and if you use it or not. And I'll see you in the next one. My name is Hardik. We are iGeeks Blog. You take care of yourself and of course, God bless.